Yo, what's going on guys? Real Games here and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're back on Block Tycoon and to be honest, I'm just going to be messing around with some TNT today. So let's just get straight into it. So if you don't know, TNT was released in the new update, the one that just came out right as of today that I'm recording this. So we're just going to we're just going to buy buy a couple TNT. Just a couple. Okay, there we go. That should be good. So the first thing I want to check out is obviously we need some power blocks as well, I think. Where are the power blocks? Oh, right there. I'm, I'm playing. There we go. Okay, so the first thing I saw this, well, I had this idea before and I just thought it would be quite fun to check out is I want to fill one of these. So right now I'm on live three. Uh, well, this is live 3 right now. I'm on live 10. I haven't really made any progress on live 10. So I thought if I go on just a, a live 3 that I'm on, it would be uh, fun to just blow stuff up. So let's just get straight into it. So we're going to go down here and we're going to break this and we're going to fill this entire column with TNT. And then right at the top, we're going to blow it up. So let's just Let's just see the, the effects of this, what happens. And hopefully it makes it all the way down because that would be fun. It's making progress, it's making progress. It's not blowing up all the blocks though, but that's okay. Excuse me. It's, it's made a dent though, wow. This is gonna break the item limit 100%. And then the last couple or the last few, and the last one. <laughs> okay, so it made a big dent. It made big damage. It primarily went on this side though, which I'm confused about. Because that side pretty much looks fine. Well, not fine. It looks like it's been blown up. But it looks okay. Okay, let's check out this other one. So the next thing I want to do is test the radius. So if I do... First thing is I want to track three blocks in between. like this and then one two three uh here and here then we're gonna try we'll go a bit further away we're gonna try two blocks in between like this three and there <clears throat> and then we're gonna try obviously one block in between which i think is gonna guarantee like so as you can see, three blocks in between, two blocks in between, and obviously the one block, which I guarantee is going to like blow up. So let's try the three blocks. Let's see if this does any damage to each other. Okay, so it does not reach three blocks almost. If I do this, yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to be hitting the two block, uh, the three blocks. I've got to get away quickly. Yeah, so it was just on the outside. So I think the two blocks will be the winner. So right here, if I do this, it should reach these ones, hopefully. It Okay, so it reaches one of them. Okay, wait, let's try this again. Try on this side. Maybe it's just a luck kind of aspect. So it did hit that one, but not that one. And then if I do this, I'm guessing it will just hit one of them again. Yeah, uh, that didn't even hit any. Okay, let's try this one. Okay, so yeah, it, the blast radius isn't the same. It will differ, so that's that's good. That's good to know. And obviously, the one block we all know this is gonna work. Let's just check it out anyway. So yeah, there you go. It blew up like three of them, and those should maybe it didn't. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. The TNT disappeared. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Okay, so the one thing I realized about TNT is that it destroys your block limit. Like, the majority of the block limit from this world is just the mushroom farm. But now that it's maxed out because of all of these blocks. So the next thing we're going to check is how long would it take to blow up an entire row of TNT? Now, I have an idea for this, though. It's not, I'm not just going to blow it up normally. I'm going to grab some. What can I do? 
I guess I could just blow it up normally. Yeah, let's just blow it up. Okay. Let's see let's see how long it takes and if it actually like doesn't go all the way. So right now, as of recording, it's five. It stop. It's already got okay. Let's do let's do it again, I guess. I'm that missed. So let's just do this one. And that fell as well. Okay. We're off a great start. Let's just run down and just keep exploding stuff. Perfect. Oh, the chain reaction's so nice. But just look at the look at the block limit. Just max out constantly. And then we're gonna drop these pieces of TNT down as well. Yes, we are. Oh, one, one. Let's get the chat out of the way. Let's go around, blow you up as well, because why not? This, these two, this one, this. And finally this one. Oh, there's a few over here that I should probably get. But yeah, this is probably now the most efficient way to obviously, you know, mine stuff, as you can see. Like this was a few seconds work, probably like a minute at max, and I've already cleared an entire row. Whereas the most like efficient way to do it before, let's just use TNT to get rid of this. Like I don't even need to mine stuff anymore. I could just use TNT. So yeah, all, all you need, like the most efficient way to like mine an area before was obviously the uh, lasers. Because what you'd do is you'd grab some observers. You'd grab a laser if I can. I can, yeah. And you just put the laser down and then put observer observer clock right next to it and it would just slowly mine and it's efficient and all it's very fast it, i'd see it, i'd even say it's faster than that but the tnt blows up a big area compared to this which only mines one and then you've got to break it afterwards and move it whereas you know with this hole here if i can reach down low like as far as i can like this and then just blow it up like you've got the laser which digs a hole and then you've got this which absolutely destroys it so look at this and this hopefully is gonna constantly go well we ran out of tnt down there but as you can see that one line of laser now did this so it's kind of crazy the next thing i want to do is if we get uh a laser here then we get an observer clock again running we do this and then we grab another laser like this so they're both going to be shooting now i'm going to wait a, i'm going to wait a minute until we have a decently sized hole and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill it all with TNT. Then I'm going to see how that goes. Okay, that should be good. So let's, let's try this out. That's a big, that's a big hole. Okay. So quickly, let's just even it out so that we've got two equally, uh, well, equal distances. Like this. Uh, it, this takes me back to my Minecraft days. Going into the nether with a ton of TNT just to get netherite. This is the exact strategy I do. Maybe a bit less TNT. Because I couldn't buy it. But you know, same, same. I just want to see the impact that this has. Obviously, the first thing I'm going to guarantee is that my block limit is gonna max out let's just block this up as well okay i might die here i'm just gonna that was a mistake but this is gonna make me a nice little tunnel the darkness it had on that whoa okay so it's making a deep tunnel this is crazy i love this update so much
Oh, this is crazy. Look how deep, look how far it's going. I, I completely forget how far my, like, mine has gone. Like, this is almost, like, maxed out. Whoa, okay. These are insane. Look, look. I've made this deeper tunnel within like a couple of minutes work. Like maybe one or two minutes of just like digging the hole and uh, putting the TNT down. And now I have a giant hole like this. Is this it? That's it, okay. Blow that up. So is this the, this is the edge of the world. So that's one edge. That's not the other like edge obviously, but like, that's insane. That's crazy. So the next thing I want to try is, if I put a piece of TNT here, well one thing I want to try is, with the lasers, would it work if I used a pressure plate? Because I know the, la the lasers work with the... Oh, okay. So it does work with the pressure plate, that's good to know. That might be a play. Also, does do the lasers work, pressure plates work if you put something on? Yes, they do. So that's a good thing to note as well. I'm sad that the TNT doesn't blow up if you uh, put a laser in front of it, which makes sense and it doesn't at the same time, because you put a pressure plate or like the lasers send out a redstone signal, or not a redstone signal, but a signal nonetheless. Because as you can see, unless it's just the target blocks that put out the signal. So if I did this and then did this, okay, okay. So it is the laser block that sends out the signal. Okay, that's good to know, that's good to know. So what you could do in that case then, is kind of do this sort of thing. And then just keep doing this kind of thing. I'm just testing stuff out now, if you couldn't tell. I'm just testing stuff out. So if I do this and then go here, Like this, and I guess one more wouldn't hurt. I messed up, that's okay. We're gonna get rid of it because I'm all about symmetry. Obviously it's not symmetrical at all, but. So if I put this down and we sprint back over here and we just jump on this, we send out the laser that hits that and it does light all of them around it. That's crazy. Is it gonna light the other ones? No? Really? So we do this. I gotta run probably. Okay, there we go. That lights it. I love this update so much. It's gonna be so much fun. But it's gonna break a lot of my stuff. You gotta be careful with the TNT as well. It can kill you if you stand on top of it. If I stand here, it won't kill me, I don't think. But if you stand on top of it, it does. So uh, let's teleport home because that is going to be the end of this video. It's been a lot of fun like debunking and like testing out all of the TNT stuff. But um, yeah, I definitely am going to try and find a way to like test this out at some point. Because I just love the way that the TNT obviously looks and the way that it works as well. Like it's so nice. It's so nice. But obviously, yes, if you want to check this out, of course, uh, go to the game. It is called Block Tycoon. Obviously, if you're watching this, you're probably going to be playing it already because who isn't? And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.